What's going on guys? Back at it again with another Elder Scrolls Skyrim video. This game does not need an introduction by any means, but I'm just going to go ahead and preface this video by saying that we're basically just going to continue on with the storyline and my main goal for this is actually to, although we're going to do like side quests along the lines and stuff like that, but my main goal is going to be to prioritize the main story, so we might, you know, go off and do some side quests here and there before that but you know what it's cool we're gonna prioritize the main mission and then after we're done with the main storyline we're probably gonna come back and do all the side stuff after that so if that's something you guys are looking forward to do me a huge favor drop a like on this video and also subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed because it really does help this channel grow so with that being said let's get on with it all right let's see uh where are we at with our with our quests do we not have a quest active I don't think we have a quest active hold on let's see let's see the map uh, change it to the world map wait this is the DLC house right the uh, creation clubhouse all right yeah we don't really currently have an active quest so let's go ahead and put something on really quick no no get out of there all right let's go let's put something on our quest uh way of the voice is really out of the way right now so um and most of these i think are freaking not creation club but uh yeah well creation club stuff so for, uh, forget it screw it let's just go ahead and do way of the voice it looks like we have to go all the way around but if we we should probably fast travel to riften and then just follow the river all the way up. So let's go ahead and go to the White Run stables. But first things first, we have to leave this place so that we can actually fast travel. But even then, there's no real point of fast travel, seeing as the stables is just outside. But oh well, it'll probably save a few seconds if I just fast travel. So let's just go ahead and do that. To the stables, yes. That is seriously such a cool looking uh, war axe, man. Alright, where's that guy? There he is. I wonder whatever happened to my horse. Need a ride? I can take you to any of the hold capitals. Yep, I'd like to hire your carriage. Where do you want to go? If I even have the money. Uh, Riften would do nicely. Climbing back and we'll be off. Sounds good, sir. Thank you. You coming, Fandle? you've never been to Ripton, be sure to visit the Blackbriar Meadery. A few mugs of that and you'll forget all... Okay, well, I mean, you could just cut him off before he finishes his sentence. That's always a, that's always a thought too, right? And just like that, we're here. Uh, let's see, did we actually like, oh, okay, we discovered the stables, but it's fine, we actually have somewhere to go anyway, so let's go ahead, we'll ready our bow and arrow, just in case someone decides to get froggy. I'm tempted to go discover that place, but, oh god. Wait, uh, oh, okay, I was pushing the wrong button. Let's go. Even if, even when it's foggy at nighttime, this game looks absolutely beautiful, man. Oh. Let's go around, man, because I'm not trying to get in the water. Get my nice little leather outfit wet and stuff. That I imagine that to be very uncomfortable. It honestly sounds like we have a long way to go. Hiya! Ooh, hunters? I've been hunting and fishing in these parts for years. You don't say. It's not like my poaching is hurting anyone. The Jarl can hardly eat every deer now, can he? What do you have for sale? Take a look. Um. Nothing. Thank you. Next time. What about you? Enough for all of us if you aren't greedy. Take a look. 
These guys are pretty sweet if they're offering... No, they don't have anything special. They're offering right. some of their stuff for me. But I think... Hunters do this illegally. Maybe. Oh, God. Well, first things first. Let's take this guy out. Oh, God. There's a... Oh, no. Oh, no. I need a potion. Where's Fandel? He is so useless. Come on, baby. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Dude, I'm already using up all of my... My potions. Dude, we put in work, didn't we? God, man, but now I need to... Wait a minute, there's someone else. Fandel, I need your assistance, bro. Oh, you finally decided to show up after I destroyed him all by myself. Is this it right here? I'm assuming it is. It was. Alright. Well, now I could breathe again. Man, it made me do all that for a little fox. Those guys are harmless. I do get... Well, I mean, I might as well discover it. I've already killed everybody here. I don't know why I didn't discover this place. That's so weird of me. All right, anything spectacular here? It doesn't look like there's anything beside, ooh, what's this? Hey, okay, father, let's go ahead and read this. Oh, archery, sounds nice. All right, introduction. Writing the biography of anyone is a challenge. Usually the problem lies in assessing one sources, comparing the prejudice of one chronicle versus another uh versus another versus another wahin yarth <laughs> i have been told in writing uh his well regarded series on the wolf queen of solitude used over a hundred contemporary narratives i cannot complain about my task having a similar issue there is but one record of the main of the man called Topal or Topal I don't know one or the other uh, the pilot the earliest known admir explorer of Tamrael only four short verse of uh, four short verse fragments of the epic father of Nibbin have been survived to present day but they offer an interesting, if controversial, look at the middle Merithic, oh, Merithic era when Topal, or Topal, the pilot, may have sailed the seas around Tamrael. Through, or though the father of the Nibbin is the only written record of Topal, the pilot's voyages, it is not only proof of his existence, among the treasures of the Great Crystal Tower of Somerset Isle are his crude but fascinating maps. His legacy to all of Tamrael. The translation of the Aldemary de Mora Nibu, father of the Nibbin, is my own. And I accept that other scholars may disagree with some of my choice of words. I cannot promise my translation lives up to the beauty of the original. I have only stri uh, strived for simple coherence. Fragment 1. Dude, this is long. Uh, fragment 1. Since second ship, the pass... 
Daniel, I don't know, uh, manned by pilot Ilio, was to follow the southern pointing waystone and the third, the Nibbin manned. By pilot Topal was oh, was to follow the northeast point waystone. The orders from the crystal tower they were to sail forth for 80 moons and then return to tell only nibbin returned uh to first hold L laden high with gold and spice and fur and strange creatures dead and live though okay i'm kind of done this is very long and oh my god it's really long look at all this there's no way I'm gonna read all this. Oh my god, it just keeps going and going. You know what, maybe I'll just take it and then read it some other time. But I'm going to definitely take all of this other stuff. Uh, So I can sell at a later time. But for now... We have to go around. That place really didn't have anything spectacular on him on it, did it? Well, we got a little bit of uh, of our archery skill up. Oh god. Oh, I missed the first one. Where's the other one? I know there's a third. There he is. I'm on a roll, dude. That was a... Is there another one? Dude, why are you always so late? I swear, you're like the worst companion ever. Ironically, is the fact that he's one of my favorite, if not my favorite, starting companion in this game. Ooh, got a nice little house here. Oh, it's destroyed. Red water den? Uh, if they have lookouts... Oh, I'm gonna level up for sure. I'm not reading another long book. I will take it, though. I guess I already did. These guys definitely look like bandits. If you're here for business, go ahead. Otherwise, get lost. Let's look. see. Yeah. I'm just here to keep watch. What you're looking for is down inside. They definitely sound like bandits, so I'm not even gonna go down there right now. For now, we have a long way to Those guys scared me. Alright, well let's go ahead and level up really fast, as a matter of fact. So let's go with health. We're basically gonna keep switching back and forth between health and stamina. Um Can I level up this? No, I can't. Alright, so let's... Potentially light armor is what we're going to go with next. But let's see uh, about our sneak skill. If I could find it, I probably passed it already, to be honest. Yeah, I did. Oh, there it is. Can I level anything up over here? The answer is no, which means we're going with light armor. There we go. Agile defender, baby. doesn't hurt to uh, get a little bit of added defense either, you know what I mean? Fandle, where are you at? You need to hurry up, bro. You're super slow. How far are we anyways? Oh, we're, we're over halfway there. We're almost there, actually. That's cool. Then we have a long trek up some the mountain. Shouldn't be too tough though. Well, look, let's go. What the hell is that? Oh god, Vandal, what are you fighting? Vampires. Oh god. Good job, Vandal. 
You took care of these guys. I'll take this, though. Vampire armor. You know what? I'll take that. That sounds cool. Does he have vampire gloves? Maybe? No. Eh, we'll be good with that. Something I want to... How much money do I have? 2,682. We definitely need to come out, uh, come up with more money, though, because we still need to get that 5,000 so we can get our own private place. Let's see what this place has got going on. Sarath Farm discovered. Hey, what's up, sir? What could it mean? The return of the Dragonborn? And who among us could possibly hold that honor? And such power? That'll be me. By the gods, it's true, isn't it? But the dragon has attacked White Camp. Okay, you're just saying typical stuff. Look at all these Nern roots. I'm not gonna lie to you, dude. I've always hated the sound of Nern roots. Like, even back in uh, Oblivion, where you had to do that, like, that stupid quest where you have to run around and collect all of them. I don't even remember what that mission was called. I literally never did it because I always hated it listening to the uh to the nern roots man Th that noise is just annoying anybody here i mean i guess we could take a nap really quick thanks for whoever put down this camp and now the sun's coming out too so that's great I want to say that's the city over there. Let's go ahead and come over here so that we can actually make it there. Otherwise, we have a long swim. There's literally a lot of, like, mooses or whatever you call those things. Yeah, it's definitely, that's definitely the city, dude. Oh. Come on. Fandal, where are you at? Why are you always, like, stuck nine miles behind me? Every time... You're supposed to be here so that when I get down and dirty with some enemies, you help and protect me. But you don't even do that, do you? Alright, well, we're pretty much here. Ah! Get out of the way. What the hell? I'm getting stuck on everything. Ivor's dead. You, talk to me. We'll show those faithless dogs who this land belongs to. You don't say. You, talk to me. Not to thinking. Maybe I'm the dragonborn. You're not. I just don't know you. <laughs> you, talk to me. This has to be the worst place in Skyrim to run a mill. How am I supposed to do anything with all those bears running around? What's making you so angry? My business is falling apart. My apprentice never listens to me. And now, there's talk of dragons. If I hadn't sunk every bit of gold I had into my mill, I would have picked up and left Iverstead long ago. Uh, anything you can tell me about High Hrothgar? The Greybeards stay away from me, and I stay away from them. Suits me just fine. You're having a bear problem, you say? Are you kidding? Those damn things will drive me right out of business. Tell you what, bring me ten of their pelts from anywhere in Skyrim. I'll gladly pay you for thinning out the herd. Uh, how could bears run you out of business? Have you ever seen what a bear does to the trees? They jump on their hind legs and scratch them to bits, marking their territory or something. It's getting to the point where I have to scour Skyrim for untouched trees at the right size. Cost me too much time and money. Okay, well, if you're having bear problems, I feel bad for you, son. I have 99 problems, but a bear ain't one. Hit me! Alright, we found the lumber mill. What does the dragonborn do once he's been summoned by the Oh, you know. Run around. Chill. Try to get up this damn mountain. On your way up the 7,000 steps again, Clifford? Not today. I'm just not ready to make the climb to High Hrothgar. The path isn't safe. 
Aren't the Greybeards expecting some supplies? Honestly, I'm not certain. I've yet to be allowed into the monastery. Perhaps one day. All right, here, talk to me. Passing through on your way to High Hrothgar? About to make a delivery up there myself. Uh, anything you can tell me about High Hrothgar? I've been to the monastery many times, but I've never even laid eyes on one of the Greybeards. Not that I'd care to. Being masters of Bethul, they could kill you by uttering a single word. Well, not that they would. They seem peaceful, but I wouldn't want to provoke them. What? What type of deliveries do you make to High Hrothgar? Mostly food supplies like dried fish and salted meats. You know, things that keep fresh for a long time. The Greybeards tend not to get out much, if you catch my meaning. And in return? Well, it's kind of an understanding between us. I mean, it just wouldn't feel right to charge them for a bit of preserved food. Trouble is, my legs aren't what they used to be, and climbing the 7,000 steps takes its toll. Uh, I mean, I could always do it for you. I'm going that way anyways. Really? Well, that would be kind of you. Here, take this bag of supplies. At the top of the steps, you'll see the offering chest. Just leave the bag inside, and you're done. Yeah, sounds like a plan. Anything I should watch out for during the climb? Well, there's the occasional wolf pack or stray, but that's all I've ever had to deal with. Shouldn't be a problem for the likes of you. Other than that, watch your footing. In these wintry conditions, the stairs can be treacherous. Sounds good. Be careful up there. Thank you. All right, let's see if we can actually trek this entire freaking mountain. We gotta literally go all the way to the top. But the castle on the top, High Hrothgar, is actually one of the coolest looking places in the game, I think. Let's go ahead and prep for some random wolves or whatever, as he said. You better be behind. I hear a wolf. What? I don't understand how that first one missed, though. Ooh, silver ring. That makes me want to uh, search more animals, seeing as they can be uh, balling with some ju uh, jewelry. Let's see. Surprised there was no more wolves. Wolves don't tra travel one like in singles. They always travel in packs. Get away from me. Dude, that went up his butt, dude. What kind of shit is that? It's a terrible way to die. Hey, what's up, bro? What's your name? Keep an eye out for wolves if you're headed up the path to High Hrothgar. Yeah, I met a few. Did you hear the Greybird's call, Dovakin? I did. Strange days when the monks will do that. I wonder what it means. Uh, what are you doing here anyways? I like to spend time up here. Walk the steps. Meditate on the emblems. Doesn't hurt when I bag some game along the way. Do you visit the Greybeards at all? They're not the sort to take visitors. But I never go that high up the path anyway. Some folk who make the trip leave them food or other essentials, but not to make conversation. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you. Nice meeting you. I'm on my way up the thousand steps. Seven thousand of them to be exact. I wonder if anybody's ever actually counted all of these steps and wondered or figured out if it's actually a thousand steps. Because if it was an actual, if it was actually 7,000 steps, then, uh, that's pretty cool by Bethesda. Oh my god, dude, I almost died thanks to you, Fandel. Yeah, that would be pretty cool if there was actually 7,000 steps on the way up there. But who knows. Alright, so there's definitely another wolf around here somewhere. Found him. He took it up the butt. 
All right, let's go ahead and loot this guy and get my arrow back. I need to be careful, dude, because it sounds like there's a lot of wolves around here. Oh, dude, this freaking goat scared the hell out of me. All right, that's just another goat. Run! This is a long distance. Who knows, maybe I, I'll go back and actually count. Well, obviously not on camera. That'll be a very boring video. Me counting to the 7,000 steps. But, I don't know. Maybe one day off camera I'll come back over here and actually count and see if there's actually 7,000 steps. Oh, look, it's another lady to talk to. Lady, lady, I'm here. To your rescue. Yeah? Uh, what about you? Did you hear the Greybeards called Dovakin? I was just outside Iverstead when it happened. It's an exciting moment. Nothing like this has happened in centuries. Really? What are you doing? Walking the steps. Meditating on the emblems. I make this trip every few years. That's cool. Who are you anyways? Just a pilgrim. I'd prefer to leave it at that, if you don't mind. Yeah, I mean, I respect that. Well, you have a nice day, okay, lady? Mm. That's all I get is a, huh. Not even a, have a good day? I just get a grunt? Wow, you're a very outstanding citizen. Katrina, or whatever your name was. Oh. Oh, I, I see you. All right, I can't see. All right, there we go. Come on. Oh God, here he comes. You better be ready, Fandel. We got a fight on our hands. Come on, baby. Oh no. Oh no. Let's go. Unleash Fandle. Oh no, don't look at me. Oh no. I got limp arrow. Oh, don't punch me. Oh god, I'm stuck. Got him. Woo! I gotta take my limp arrows back. Troll fat? Don't mind if I do. Yeah, I couldn't see the troll in that first shot, man. Probably should have just held off and switched my camera angle first. Fandle, where are you at? Oh my god, stop looking at the troll and get over your Fandle. How did these guys de get down here? Give me that arrow. Where's the other one? Right there. Thank you. We should be almost there. I hope. It's not fighting wolves, it's fighting trolls or something. Oh wait. Are we actually here? Nope. This is very long. I don't know why, but I think this might... If I had to guess, this is probably like closer to like a thousand steps, not seven thousand. But who knows? Maybe it is. I don't know. I never counted.
Oh my god. Does this... Oh wait, I can actually see it. We're here. We're finally here. Well, let's go ahead while we're here and turn in Kim Lex Supplies or whatever his name was. Before we actually go into uh, Hire Harothgar. This castle looks badass, dude. Really does. Alright, uh... Miscellaneous? There it is, Kim Lex Supplies. Oh wait, uh, store. There we go. Return to Kimlik. I will eventually. Maybe after this. Knock, knock. Anybody home? Hey, what's up, bro? So, a dragonborn appears at this moment in the turning of the age. Uh, I'm answering your summon. We will see if you truly have the gift. Show us, Dragonborn. Let us taste of your voice. There you go. <laughs> I am Master Angir. I speak for the Greybeards. Now, tell me, Dragonborn. Why have you come here? Uh, I heard this was where the party at. Who are you? What is this place? We are the Greybeards. Followers of the way of the voice. You stand in high Hrothgar, the slopes of Kinavith's sacred mountain. Here we commune with the voice of the sky and strive to achieve balance between our inner and outer selves. Uh I want to find out what it means to be dragonborn. We are here to guide you in that pursuit. Just as the Greybeards have sought to guide those of the dragon blood that came before you. You mean I'm not the only dragonborn? You are not the first. There have been many of the dragon blood since Akatosh first bestowed that gift upon mortal kind. Whether you are the only dragonborn of this age, that is not ours to know. You are the only one that has been revealed thus far. That is all I can say. That's interesting. But I'm answering your summons, Master. We are honored to welcome a dragonborn to High Hrothgar. We will do our best to teach you how to use your gift in fulfillment of your destiny. And what is my destiny? That is for you to discover. We can show you the way, but not your destination. Well, for all I know is that, or all I should say is that I'm ready to learn. You have shown that you are dragonborn. You have the inborn gift. But, do you have the discipline and temperament to follow the path laid out for you? I think so. Uh, that remains to be seen. So what are you telling me? Without training, you have already taken the first steps towards projecting your voice into a thum, a shout. Now let us see if you are willing and able to learn. When you shout, you speak in the language of dragons. Thus, your dragon blood gives you an inborn ability to learn words of power. All shouts are made up of three words of power. As you master each word, your shout will become progressively stronger. Sounds master good. Einart will now teach you Ro second word in unrelenting force. Dro means balance in the dragon tongue. Combine it with fus, force, to focus your thumb more sharply. Dro. Whoop whoop! I'm learning a new shout, baby. Well, technically it's the same shout, but I'm getting an upgrade. You're gonna let me get it or what? What's gonna happen? There we go. Hold on, why can't I hear the subtitles? Uh, display? General subtitles. I thought I already had those. You truly do have the gift. 
But learning a word of power is only the first step. You must unlock its meaning through constant practice in order to use it in a shout. Well, that is how the rest of us learn to shout. As Dragonborn, you can absorb a slain dragon's life force and knowledge directly. As part of your initiation, Master Einarth will allow you to tap into his understanding of hope. Nice. Do I do I use it? Oh, I have to use it on your unrelenting force shout huh? to strike the targets as they appear. Get out of my way. That's one. Anybody else? Well done. Again. There we go. That's two. So I'm assuming this guy's gonna give me my last one. Good. Again. You learn quickly. Once more. Thank you. Dunskis. Impressive. Your Thank you. Thumb is precise. You show great promise, Dragonborn. So what's next? We will perform your next trial in the courtyard. Follow Master Boy. Coming. Where are we going, sir? Not that a talking type I hear, or I see. I'm right behind you, bro. Don't even worry about it. Woohoo! Master Bori, what are we doing? It's kind of cold out here. I don't want to get sick. There's a lot of sick, pe sick people out there right now. Alright? Oh, we're here. We will now see how you learn a completely new shout. Master Bori will teach you wool, which means well done. Hell yeah. Wool. Wool. He likes his shirts made out of wool. You must hear the word within yourself before you can project it into a thing. Really now? Woohoo! Got a second shout, just like that. Uh, demonstrate your whirlwind shout. Uh, whirlwind we'll sprint. You can master a new shout. Damn, I'm fast. will demonstrate whirlwind sprint. Huh? Then it will be your turn. Okay. Sounds easy enough. Whoa, that dude's fast. Stand next to me. Master Bori will open the gate. Use your whirlwind sprint to pass through before it closes. Don't even worry, old man. I got this. Woohoo! Agnir. Or Argnir, whatever. Your quick mastery of a new Thum is uh, astonishing. I'd heard the stories of the abilities of Dragonborn, but to see it for myself? Uh. I don't know how I do it. It just happens. You were given this gift by the gods for a reason. It is up to you to determine how best to use it. You are now ready for your last trial. Retrieve the horn of Jürgen Windcola, our founder, from his tomb in the ancient fane of Ustangrad. Remain true to the way of the voice, and you will return. Uh, why are the dragons returning? Does it have something to do with me? No doubt, the appearance of a dragonborn at this time is not an accident. 
Your destiny is surely bound up with the return of the dragons. You should focus on honing your voice, and soon your path will be made clear. Thank you, Master. I will continue my training. Good. Then you will be ready for whatever lies ahead. Uh, what does it mean to be dragonborn? Dragons have the inborn ability to learn and project their voice. Dragons also are able to absorb the power of their slain brethren. A few mortals are born with similar abilities, whether a gift or a curse has been a matter of debate down through the centuries. What you have already learned in a few days took even the most gifted of us years to achieve. Some believe that dragonborn are sent into the world by the gods at times of great need. We will speak more of that later, when you are ready. Uh, why are shouts in the dragon language? Dragons have always been able to shout. Language is intrinsic to their very being. There is no difference in the dragon tongue between debating and fighting. Shouting comes as naturally to a dragon as breathing or speaking. In mythic times, when mortal kind was in great need, the goddess Kinnereth granted us the ability to speak as dragons do. For most people, long years of training are required to learn even the simplest shout. But for you, a dragon speech is in your blood, and you learn it almost without effort. That's interesting. Uh, there are only, there are only four of you guys? Five. Our leader, Parthenax, lives alone on the peak of the throat of the world. When your voice can open the path, you will know you are ready to speak to him. Cool. Uh, when can I meet your leader, Parthenax? As I said, you will know you are ready when your voice can open the path to him. So, you're telling me tomorrow. Tell me about the Greybeards. We study the way of the voice, according to the teachings of our founder, Jürgen Windkorn. Very few are permitted to study with us here at High Hrothgar. But in your case, Dragonborn, it is a privilege to guide you towards mastery of your voice. Very nice. Uh, is that everything? Wait, who's Jürgen Windkorn? He was a great war leader of the ancient Nords master of the voice or tongue after the disaster at red mountain where the nord army was annihilated he spent many years pondering the meaning of that terrible defeat he finally came to realize that the gods had punished the nords for their arrogant and blasphemous misuse of the voice he was the first to understand that the voice should be used solely for the glory and worship of the gods not the glory of men Oh, okay. Jürgen Windcaller's mastery of the voice eventually overcame all opposition, and the way of the voice was born. Um. Not, uh, that's it. Sky above. All right. Well, let's go ahead and hold on. Uh. All right, let's go down to that one little town, Iverstead, and find Kimlik and give him the supplies. Hopefully he'll pay us in the process, because that's always nice to get a little bit of money. But then we have to go find something else. Oh shit. Run! I don't want to talk to you. Kimlik. I lost Kimlik. Is this him? Found him. Ah, oh, good to see you again. How'd that delivery go? I delivered the supplies to Hire Hrothgar. Quite a climb, wasn't it? Yeah, it was actually. Anyway, much appreciated. Here, take this for your troubles. Thank you. Thanks again for the leg. He gave me 500 gold, dude. Dude, it's ballin'. All right, let's get out of the way before those freaking cultists talk to us. Let's go ahead and fast travel. Wait, hold on, where are we supposed to go anyways? All right, looks like it's up here somewhere. Dude, that is far. All right, well, we will go 
back to Whiterun and sell some stuff and clean up a little bit. You know, you know the 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 gist of it. All right. Oh, it's nighttime. All right, let's go ahead and wait till the daytime. Uh, we'll do 14 hours for now, and then we'll just stop it once uh, once it's daytime. I think everything opens at like 8 a.m. or something. So we'll stop it there and let's go sell some, let's go sell some stuff. Shut up, guard. Oh wait, 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 wait. Might be nine that they open. No, it's still locked. So you can spend it on drinks with the bannered mayor. If it's food you need, ask for that instead. Oh, okay, there we go. I wanna say, what is going on? Why won't it open? I'm sure you'll find what you're Shut up, Bellator. Everything. Oh, a bit of this and a bit of that. All right, let me see. What can I sell you? Some ale? Um. You could have some cheese. <laughs> some goat hide. Some wolf pelt. Some leg of goat. Should I sell this? Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna use this. Plus, I think I can always buy it again. Um, we'll sell the silver. You can have that. Tap root. Troll fat. Venison. Dude, I have a lot of stuff. And three wolf pelts. How much do I have? 3,500. I need 1,500 more gold and then I'm golden, dude. I could buy my do own place. Back. Yes, do come back. But looks like we already about... Oh, God. Okay, let's talk to these guys. Let's talk to them over here by the guards. Just in case shit goes south. Hint, hint, hint. I already know what's going to happen. <laughs> Come on over here, buddy. Fangel, you better be ready. Why are you weaving in and out from them? Dude, you're weird. You there. You're the one they call Dragonborn. As a matter of fact, I am. Your lies fall on deaf ears, Deceiver. The true Dragonborn comes. You are but his shadow. When Lord Mirak appears, all shall bear witness. None shall stand to oppose him. The commander's here, too. Oh, God. I can't see! Oh, God, I'm gonna die, aren't I? Oh, what the fuck? Did I die? <laughs> All right. Well, let's try that again. This time... This time we're probably gonna... You there. Use the Thum and then run. Dragonborn. Yes, I am. You're lying. When Lord Mirak appears... All right, let's go ahead and switch our shout... Back to unrelenting so force. Shall bear witness. None shall stand to oppose him. Ready? Fight the force. Go! Go! I just hope I don't miss, because if I miss and I hit a guard, I'm fucking screwed. Well that guy's definitely dead. The other guy died too? He did. No sign of it. Oh, are you guys having trouble? Alright, let's see what this guy says. Alright, cultist orders. Let's go ahead and read this. Board the vessel Northern Maiden, docked at Raven Rock. Take it to Windhelm, then t uh, begin your search. Kill the false dragonborn known as Lucius Invictus before he reaches Solstheim. Return uh, with word of your success and Mirak shall be most pleased. Mirak? Who is this Mirak? 
taking that. Courage. Taking that, taking that, taking that, taking that. Leave your naked ass in here, dude. Thank you, Captain. I'm gonna take the secondary, too. And while we're at it, we'll take all these steel arrows that old boy left because he can't shoot for shit. But then again, there's an iron arrow from me, so... Trouble. Do I even have a right to say anything? Steel arrow. All right. Well, that's definitely going to do it for today, guys. We're very, very close to an hour. So anything else we do, and that's just basically going to set us over. So we're going to call it a video right here, right now. Uh, it's actually very, it's starting to get very exciting. Uh, we are already starting to get hit up. Uh, we're getting hit up by all these cultists and stuff like that. So very interesting to see where that takes us but obviously we're going to be doing that in some later video but for now we're definitely going to call it a video and we'll find out or figure out what we're going to do uh in the next one so with that being said do me a huge favor drop a like on the video subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed and i'll definitely catch you guys in the next one deuces